Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Rockwell 3 from our Privilege Collection. You can see here that it's a compact tent, it's tunnel in design and it can sleep up to three people. It has the bedroom at the back here, a sealed living space at the front and this canopy across the front door as well, which we'll show you all in detail shortly. But first, I'll talk you through the details on the outside. So to start off, the fly sheet that we're using on here is our Outex 4000. So this is a high quality taffeta polyester material which has fully taped seams throughout. It's also been completely PU coated throughout as well, and that gives it a hydrostatic head of 4,000 millimetres, so it is totally waterproof. It's also fire retardant, and it has also been treated uh, for UV, so it's protected under UV degradation or sunlight, so you can be sure that this will last a good long time. So the frame that we use on this tent is using our Duratec fiberglass poles. So you can see just here that these look a little bit different to standard black fiberglass poles. And that's just to highlight that they all have a protective sheath on the outside of them, which will make them that little bit more durable and stronger than standard fiberglass. So if these poles do break, what they tend to do is they tend to split lengthways instead of shatter into lots of bits. But they're certainly really good quality, strong uh, fiberglass poles. We also colour code the poles to the sleeves, uh, so you can see here that there's a red tab on this front one here, and you'll find that uh, there's another colour at the back here, which is the blue pole, so they are colour coded to make sure that when you pitch the tent, it's as easy as can be to make sure that you get the right pole in the right place. So here you can see that we're utilising our aeroffective ventilation on here. So just under this panel on the outside, you've got this mesh strip, which is going to allow cool fresh air into the tent. Uh, and allow for better ventilation. If it gets a little bit too chilly, we can easily remove these just simply by taking the Velcro tabs off and then pressing the Velcro down like this. You'll then also see that we have large windows all the way around this tent, so even though it's a little bit smaller, it's still going to feel nice and spacious inside because, of course, that allows lots of light into the tent. We're also using our wind stabiliser system on this tent, and that's where we have these Velcro tabs uh, around the sides here. So I'll just show you now how these work and how to set them up. So when you set the tent up, all you have to do is take these Velcro tabs and wrap them around the poles like this and fasten into position. You'll find that there's one at the top and at the bottom of the poles around the side of the tent here, and this is then where we have our guy lines attached. So when we pull these guy lines out and peg them into position, what that does is brings the whole fly sheet against the frame of the tent, making the whole thing much more taut and therefore much more stable. So here at the front of the tent, you can see that we have this canopy covering the front door. So of course, that's going to give you a rain safe entrance on here. Now, because we have this here, what that does mean is that we can have this vertical wall at the front of the tent. So what that also gives you is full usable space as soon as you go in here. So with there not being a, a slanted front door on here, you'll see that actually straight away, as soon as you step into the tent, you've got a lot of usable space. Um, the door on the front of the tent is a D-door style, so you can see that it's the way it's shaped here. And what that allows us to do is roll it to the side instead of rolling it up, which uh, just makes it a little bit easier to access. Um, what I would like to highlight here, though, is that the uh, door behind the waterproof door is actually a full mesh door. So these are two separate doors to here, so you can leave this outside one rolled away like this, and then have your mesh door fully zipped over at the front here, uh, to help with ventilation, but hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs. So uh, next, just to highlight actually that even though it's quite a compact tent, there is actually a good amount of head height within here. I'm quite tall at around 1 meter 95, and I can certainly stand up here no problem at all. And as I said there, because of that vertical front wall on here, there's a good usable space in this living area as well. Uh, the ground sheet within this tent from the front to the back is fully sealed uh, and it's a bathtub style ground sheet so it comes up around the edges so what you'll see is this grey material here is the ground sheet of course and that's going to stop any drafts from coming in it's going to keep out things like dirt dust and sand and hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs as well of course it's totally waterproof as well with a hydrostatic head of 10,000 millimeters and with it being a double coated polyethylene it's a good long lasting material as well so we also have a lantern hanging point within this tent. Now we're going to struggle to see it from the camera angle here, but it's just on the other side of the material inside the tent here. And then what we have is some cable tidies that actually run down the inside of the tent around here. And they then lead down to where we have a cable entry point. So you can just see here, we're actually utilizing it at the moment by bringing power into the tent here. And this is just a zippable uh, piece here that allows you to do that. What that then means is you can fully seal the front door as well without having the cables running in to the tent. 
Uh, as I said, then we have large windows all the way around us, uh, and that's allowing lots of light into the tent, making it feel nice and spacious. Uh, each window does have its own curtain, though. So just here you can see we have it rolled away at the moment. Um, but actually, this can be brought up and either toggled halfway to give you a little bit of privacy, or of course, right up to the top to close it completely. Then on the top here, we also have a mesh ventilation panel, uh, which corresponds to that outside air effective vent that I showed you from the outside. So at the back of the tent is where the bedroom is. And as I said earlier on, it can sleep up to three people. So it's a good sized uh, bedroom. Uh, I, ideal actually as a sort of couple's uh, bedroom here because you'd be able to get a large double air bed in here and still have space around. So you can see here we have some handy storage pockets on the inside of the bedroom and across the back we have a large ventilation panel as well, which again corresponds to a, a panel on the fly sheet. And also just to highlight here that when this door is opened, it does have a pocket that can just be stowed away to keep it nice and tidy. A nice thing about this bedroom actually is the fact that it comes pre-attached as well, so it's a job that you don't need to worry about, it's already in place. So we have a couple of optional extras available for this tent, that would be a flat woven carpet for the living space here, just giving you a bit more comfort underfoot. There is also a footprint available to go underneath this ground sheet, which is going to protect the ground sheet uh, and keep it clean and dry on those wet and muddy days as well. So that's all the features then of the Rockwell 3 from the Privilege Collection. Thank you very much for watching.